I was like, I don't think we're gonna make that. We're not doing half bad here though. Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, and if you've noticed, we are staring at Drifter's Playground. Drift Playground here in Beam NG Drive. We're gonna be taking our first drifts here in Beam NG Drive. We do have a mod drift car here in the game so make sure you guys follow me on all in social media all that you found in the description box below let's get sideways so we are here in beam ng drive something that i've been wanting to do for a very long time and we are here to get our first drifts out of the way I do not have a handbrake because for some reason my fan attack thinks my handbrake is my clutch pedal so we are on full 900 degrees of rotation and we're just gonna head into the track that I drifted in a set of Corsa when I first started oh like I said we don't have handbrake so this is gonna be all clutch kicks oh okay so a lot of people tell me I need to get on Beam NG Drive and we are here. Oh, just a little wall tap. Cracking the tail light. I love the damage models in this game and wanting to get on here for a very long time. Oh, have it struggling a little bit with this car, but uh we're getting our first drifts out there. Lock up the brakes. Yep, definitely locking up the brakes. We may switch to a street version of this car. It's gonna be a little bit lighter on the throttle. Nope, don't lose it. So definitely a very difficult game to drift in and get used to for sure. But we're getting it here a little bit. much Whew. all right let's let's uh, get on the car with a little less power oh I stalled it uh, okay let's go with the street build oh, okay we're in the grass hopefully it didn't break the car all right we're good clutch kick too much clutch kick so definitely a very complicated game to get used to but definitely a lot of fun the damage models and everything in this game are incredible oh, okay I think I may have some damage already so let's uh oh no I don't want to oh, I don't want to respawn there let's just reload the, reload the level here and uh, see if we can't start off with a clean car that's not damaged and isn't gonna cause any Steering issues. All right, there we go. Fresh car, second attempt. Graphics look incredible. This car is definitely a fun car. I've seen it on other channels. You got that slap sticker in the window as well. So, it's a clutch kick. Ooh, running that wall. Gotta be very finesse with the throttle and everything here. Gotta peek that boost, get that wheel spin again. Looped it. It's very, very different. The way the camera pivots and everything is pretty cool. I like the way that works. But not having a handbrake is definitely uh, making me drive very different. And I probably could link turns a lot better with the handbrake, but we're trying it without it. Ooh, 
But we haven't wrecked a car yet. We haven't. I want to go grab the handbrake. Oh, there's a there's a tail tap. Throwing our uh, wheel a little bit wonky in the back, as well as uh, throwing our exhaust tip into our bumper. Oh, this game is very, very different. Gonna take a little bit of getting used to. We're gonna try a little faint clutch kick. Oh, I'm throwing too much. Apparently, we uh, are tweaking our front bumper. A little bit of low life going on right there. If you guys have any great drift mods, that one's good. That's good. That's a good section right there. Any good drift mods or anything like that? Oh, let me know down in the comments a place where I can get them. Am I hooked on the bumper? I think I am. Oh, I think we hooked our bumper. So let's uh, refresh that car. Probably could have left that other car in the parking or down there. Oh, no handbrake. I keep forgetting. One cool thing is you can just leave cars and get new cars. Now, one thing I'm noticing when I'm changing cars around, I am getting a big FPS drop, and it's dropping down to 30 FPS, and the wheel kind of starts tripping out. If there's a fix for that, let me know. Ooh. I want to get at least one smooth lap here. Maybe get a nice wall tap. Got to be very feathery on the throttle, I'm noticing. There we go. Got to be a little bit easier on throttle. Not full blow, full blown, full throttle all the time. I wish my handbrake worked. If you guys know on Fanatec why the handbrake won't work, it says it's basically my clutch pedal. Maybe it's just the game, something I can do to adjust that. Other than putting, oh, and there's a. A crinkle of the front bumper. Oh, and we got our headlight dragging. Just a jump tap, but now we got a headlight dragging. Front bumper creased in. So, for a first drift out here in Beam NG. Definitely something to get used to. Not an easy game to drift in by any means. Luckily we are on a track that I uh, kind of know. First track I drifted in a set of courses. So first track I'm drifting here at BMNG. Oh, we're getting it now. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh! Uh, we just ripped half our bumper off and I think dented our driver's door. No, we actually didn't dent the driver's door. I thought we did. We do have a headlight that's just flopping around. We're gonna go for a wall tap. Oh, wall runs? Oh, oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, rip chasers. Let's switch up tracks. And see what else we can get into. Oof. Rip to that car. Let's go to where I think everybody goes. Industrial spot. Let's go to the drift course. And of course, we're going to see if we can not smash our car right away. But we probably will. Probably going to choose the same street car. Definitely liked how that handled from the rip. So let's get loaded in here and load in that vehicle the street build all right gotta do the uh the big donuts in the big parking lot and then up No, off the fence. We wouldn't want to wreck the car right off the rip. That would be 
That would be terrible. Oh, I was like, I don't think we're gonna make that. We're not doing half bad here, though. As I say that, we loop it. Don't hit the fence. We try head back down. See if we can't make our way back up. Having a lot of fun with this. And this is just one of many episodes coming out to you guys here on BeamNG. Oh, we got a little flow going now. Banging red line. No! Oh! I think it was just a bumper though. Yeah, we just we just peeled off the bumper like a banana. We're gonna take <laughs> gonna cut our losses on that one and try and uh, fit our way in there. Oh, that's a hard hit. That was definitely more than just a tap. So BMNT drive. Oh, hey, there's a wall there. Oh, we killed the car too. Definitely uh, gonna take some getting used to, but like I said, if you guys have some good mods or anything, let me know down in the comments where to get them from. We just need to get rid of the bumper in our mirror. <sighs> Keep stalling the car. I'm surprised this car's still running though, and somewhat controllable. I say that. Oh no, no, we're missing something bad. We have no full control of this car. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on BeamNG Drive. If you guys like it and you want to keep seeing more, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.